Hi guys, it's Bill. I'm One Happy Diabetic. I'm not a medical professional, nor will I ever be one. So just remember, all these tips and tricks that you might see here today are just from my experiences and opinions of being a diabetic for over 20 years. So don't try this stuff at home and always talk to your healthcare provider first. Thanks a lot. Today's video is going to be uh, answering some questions that I got from Ian from the UK, screen name Black Ooey Ooey Ooey. I uh, hope you guys can uh, go look him up. Um, but he actually asked some very uh, good questions about going on to an insulin pump that I thought would be helpful for everybody to understand a little bit more his questions and some of the answers that I had for him. All right, well, the first question that he had was, will an insulin pump give me better glucose control? And specifically, he said that he was having uh, trouble with highs in the morning. Well, one of the things that everybody should look up right now is what's called dawn phenomenon, okay? I'll just explain it briefly. You know, I wish I knew a little bit more about it. All I know is that I have it and it raises my blood sugars overnight. But basically what dawn phenomenon is, is basically your body releasing growth hormones, which causes insulin resistance, which also causes, um, or actually there's also a process of your body releasing glucose into your stream, which can cause a raise in blood sugar. So everybody should take a look at that to see if maybe that might be an issue uh, that some of you might be having with your blood sugars getting high. Now back to Ian's question, will it give me better control? Well, my answer is yes, I mean it could. And the reason is, is that if you're on injection therapy right now and your long-acting insulin is Lantus or Levermere, what you're getting is just a constant 24-hour straight line of background insulin. Well, the great thing about insulin pumps is that you have the ability to adjust that background level of insulin every half hour or so. Everybody's body and blood sugar's levels actually go up and down throughout the day. And if you have dawn phenomenon, they actually increase throughout the night. So actually going on to an insulin pump actually will give you better control if done properly. Another thing to add briefly is really your glucose control using a pump, it's all up to you. But one of the advantages that an insulin pump does is it gives you the ability to match your bolus specifically with the food you're eating. So if you're tending to eat foods like pizza or maybe some other foods that have complex carbohydrates or a lot of protein in them where your carbs are getting released over a period of time, you're able to use what's called a combination bolus or extended bolus so that you don't have to deliver all that insulin up front like you would in an injection or have to do multiple injections to get that glucose down. You can set your insulin pump up for a combination bolus or extended bolus, hopefully better matching your meal boluses. So that actually could give you better glucose control. The second question Ian had about insulin pumps was whether or not he would lose or gain weight. Well, once again, it's all up to you. I mean, food in your mouth is food out in your belly. Um, so really, it's all up to you. Some people actually tend to gain a little bit of weight uh, while using an insulin pump. I actually did. And really, that's resulting from the freedom that this insulin pump provides to you. Instead of having to whip out your insulin, draw it up, and then do a shot, it's much easier, easy if the insulin pump is in your pocket and, can, and you can just do a couple clicks. Also, like I said, uh, the ability to actually maintain better glucose control when eating some of those off-limit foods like pizza and things like that, uh, some diabetics, you know, like myself, decided to eat a little bit more pizza because I was able to, you know, eat that food and actually control my sugar levels. The problem is, is that I was eating more carbs. So it's kind of a yes and no thing. It's really all up to you. It's how well you manage your diabetes, but the pump offers a little bit more flexibility, and that's why some patients actually tend uh, to actually gain some weight while using an insulin pump. The next question is, is can I use my insulin pump uh, while I swim? I like to swim. Well, the quick answer to that question is yes, but you have to know what type of insulin pump you're using. Some insulin pumps are considered watertight, like the Medtronic insulin pump, while other insulin pumps have a waterproofing indication at depths of 6, 8, 12 feet underwater from times between 30 minutes underwater to 60 minutes underwater. So the short answer to that question is yes. And also, if your pump isn't waterproof, there are cases available on the market that make them waterproof. But really, my opinion on this is I really don't like to take that risk. If you've seen my video on having cracks in your insulin pump, I've had cracks in my insulin pump. That basically defeats that whole purpose of having your pump be waterproof. So I really wouldn't want to take that risk going in and out of a pool every day wearing my insulin pump. I would actually more likely detach my insulin pump. I do when I go in the shower every day and really not take that risk. But really, it's all up to you.